everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're a Mac user in healthcare, I've got some really exciting news to share with you about some of the new Copilot experiences that are coming to the Apple platform for Mac, specifically Microsoft for Outlook. So if you're a fan of the Copilot features that you're that are in Teams already, if you're a fan of using Copilot in the web, as well as other places, then you're really gonna appreciate some of the new stuff that is coming out for the Microsoft Outlook platform for Mac as well. So let's dive into it. So what's new? The same amazing Copilot experience that you're used to in Teams and others is now coming to Microsoft Outlook for Mac. So you're gonna be able to find the Copilot app directly in, in, in Outlook on the left uh, left side uh, application bar where you have your contacts and, and uh, contacts and calendars and so forth. But that's not all. With all these new features, well, with this new with these new features that are coming out, they're starting to they're in preview now and also rolling out globally this month as well. So if you're an admin, um, pay attention to, to your application update rings. You can start testing that as out as well uh, to in, before it starts rolling out to those users as well. But some really cool stuff, and it's coming soon. And for those that like having a dedicated app, I am one of those I am one of those people that I like to have a dedicated application experience as well. I'm also going to show you how to install Copilot as an app. Uh, on your Mac as well. And we're gonna do that leveraging our browser. So we're gonna kind of like a PWA or progressive web app type of approach. So um, are you excited? I am, so let's go ahead and dive in. So here I've got my Outlook app. We wanna make sure that we're using the new Outlook experience for Mac. Uh, that's gonna be important here to be able to uh, get access to all these new features that are coming out. But um, some of the things I'll point out real quickly, you've got your uh, summarize feature as well as your summarize feature right here. That's been out for a while, but um, make sure you utilize that, especially for long email threads, really cool feature of Copilot. Um, but the thing I want to point out are two things. So we've got Copilot over here at the left bar app. So I can click on that and I've got that very familiar experience of Copilot. I've got my work side and my website. So my biz chat is what we call our work side. And then you got your website. So I can interact with both of those. Same experience. I can, I've got my chats that I can look at as well. So Copilot in Outlook, awesome, awesome new features for Mac. But what about that dedicated app application experience? Um, there's a, we can do that pretty easily on a variety of different browsers. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle Edge. This Edge is a Chromium browser. So um, you'll be able to do this on Edge. Chrome does it as well as other Chromium browsers should be able to do this as well. So to be able to install Copilot as an app through your browser, uh, we wanna go to the URL that you want to create an app. So in, in this instance, I've already launched the URL that I need to uh, create the app from. And very easily, I can go over to the right-hand side here click this, click the menu, and then I've got my app sections down here. From here, I can say, install this site as an app. From there, I can give it a name and then hit install. Once I hit install, it's going to install itself as an app. Uh, I'm not gonna hit install as in this one because I've already got this installed as an app. This right here, Copilot right here, this is uh, a Microsoft 365 Edge app. So I went through this experience to, to be able to uh, build out my own Copilot application. So really easy way to do that. Chrome also does it if it's just a little bit of term different terminology when you're navigating the menu in Chrome, but most Chromium browsers should be able to do that. And if you're a Safari user, we can still do this as well. So uh, just the same as Edge, go to the URL that you need to install as an app. A little different here, there's no menu that we're going to go that's embedded directly in the browser. Instead, we're gonna go up to File at the very top, and then we're gonna go to Add to Dock. And then from there, give it a name, whatever you want, and hit Add to Dock. I'm not gonna hit Add because I've already installed it, but once you hit Add to Dock, it will look like this. I've got Copilot right here at the bottom, and it looks like a dedicated app. Um, so your extensions follow you as well. So helpful if you've got certain extensions that um, do things, but it looks like a dedicated app. Um, uh, and so that's that, that that helps me and my mentality like having dedicated apps for certain, certain things that I'm doing. So there you go. If you need that dedicated Copilot experience as an application, you can definitely do that through different browsers that you have. That's the new uh, Copilot, Microsoft Copilot experience on Mac. Uh, I hope you guys are excited as I am just to kind of see some new stuff coming to, to Outlook and being able to interact with Copilot in a lot of different ways. But um, I hope that was helpful and I hope you all have an awesome day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.